Some buddies invited me to join them for a Canadian archery bear hunt in Ontario. Sounded like a great idea, so I began practicing more with my bow. Now, it was an old bow, a Bear Archery Whitetail II. This bow had about 60 pounds of pull with only 50% let off. I was using Easton Game Getter XX75 aluminum arrows and Muzzy One broadheads. It only delivered the arrows at about 170 feet per second. As we packed up, some of the other members of our group saw my bow and they felt sorry for me, for they had far more modern bows. One even offered to let me use his backup 3D bow. I declined saying that my bow worked just fine and I knew how to shoot it. They just shook their heads, wishing me luck. We drove up to Red Wing Lodge in Morrison, Ontario, about one hour north of the border town of Baudette, Minnesota. Our area that we planned to hunt was not too far south of the lodge in the Morrison area. house for uh, Red Lake Lodge. We're in cabin eight. Our setups were tree stands over trails. We also had 55 gallon barrels with attractant. I'd never archery hunted for bear before, so I asked around about what a big bear might look like. Folks told me that if it looked like the bear couldn't fit into a 55 gallon drum, then it was a big bear. So I used this rule of thumb as I watched many bears go under my stand over the next several days. Some bears were under my stand for hours. I even had one rise up on his hind legs and scratch his back for a while on the tree I was in. Great experience. See what I look like here? Hanging off the tree stand. Well, that's me. A big sow with cubs just came by. She's about 50 yards out. Okay, it's 4th of June. Uh, next morning I'm back up at the same stand I was at yesterday morning. And we'll see if we can't pull a bear out of here today. Probably that little one will come back through again about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And it's about 9 o'clock. There were mosquitoes everywhere. We didn't use any type of DEETS or other mosquito spray in that we wanted to be as odor free as possible. We kept our hunting clothes in plastic bags, only putting them on to hunt. We also used knee high rubber boots that were kept outdoors. So I would sit on the stand, listening to what seemed like thousands of mosquitoes. At any given time, I'd have 30 to 40 on the back of my gloves, trying to poke through. I would just slowly put one hand over the other in a fruitless effort to reduce the mosquito population. I was always wary 
that even the slightest movement like this could alert an unseen bear to my presence, so any motion on my part was slow and deliberate. I left the area. It was about 30 minutes before dark and got the rest of the party from their stands to help me with the bear. We had a Canadian tracker and in the dark with slug shotguns, we tracked the bear. Okay, see it's 9.50. I shot the bear a little over an hour ago. It's huge. It's the uh, biggest black bear I've ever seen. Huge. <laughs> and I got it with an arrow and the arrow's still in there somewhere so we gotta be careful uh, yanking them out. One of us gets stuck. Uh, I don't know how we're going to get him out of here. A lot of sweat, man. Look at the body size on it. Well, is it your first bear? With a bow. <laughs> oh, man. You have to initiate him, eh? Oh. <laughs> now, the, now the work begins. Well, we're down here at Martin's Meats. Is this Martin? Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're going to see what the bear weighs. Uh, it's the next morning here, uh, 5th of June. A little bit after 10. And sure enough, he's got a, a monster contraption here. Just hooks right in. And then he just uh, hauls it right up.
342 pounds. 342. My bear was by far the largest of the bears taken by our party. I guess my old bear whitetail tube bow came through after all. I later upgraded my bow to Matthew solo cam, with which I had good success on an archery African safari. The life-size mount was done by J&K Taxidermy, Fargo, North Dakota. The bear measured 18 and 11 16ths for the Pope and Young record book.